It's Barber Since 98, and today I'm on my way to Fantastic Cuts to interview the world's oldest barber. He's 106 years old, been a barber for over 90 years. I'm really excited to hear what he has to say. Let's go inside and see what he has to say. Come on. Well, again, it's an honor and a great pleasure to Same meet you. Same here. What inspired you to be a barber? Uh, I was just surprised to be a barber. I, I, I didn't know what I was going to want to do, so I thought a barber would be all right. It'd be a, it's an easy job and so forth and so on, and I probably would like it, and that's why I took it. But nobody pushed me to it. My father never said anything. We had six brothers and a sister. Yeah. He had to take care of her, the whole big family for $25 a week. And I wanted to help out a little bit in the family because my father wasn't making much money. Mm -hmm. So I says, well, I learned the business and that way I could help out a little bit. So I told my father one day, I said, you know, I'm going to think I'm going to go out and get a job. I was only 11 years old. He says, what kind of a job are you going to get? I said, I'm going to deliver papers in the morning. I get morning papers, then come home, have breakfast, then I go to school, come back. I had afternoon papers. I said, after the afternoon papers, I'm going to go to a barber shop and learn the barber business. You're going to learn the barber business? I shall. So, okay, that's what you want to do. I, so I used to get up four o'clock in the morning because before my father, I deliver morning papers, I come home, I have breakfast, then I go to school, come back out of school, go deliver morning afternoon papers, then I run to the barber shop to eight o'clock at night. So now, you know, I'm working in a barber shop. I work sometimes I work seven days a week, others five, and I find it to be real stressful on my body. Tired, my back my shoulders, and you know, you, you've been doing it for such a long time, till this day. What keeps you going? What motivates you to get up to go to work and deal well, with the customers and you know? I gotta have something to do. I'm all, <clears throat> excuse me, my wife passed away. Otherwise she was here, maybe I would have retired. But no, I'm all alone and I'm organizing and everybody asks me, why are you working at this age? I said, because I like to. I can't stay home watching TV all day, so I'd rather see some friends and people that to talk to. At the same time, I'm doing the barber business. I'm in the barber business, I want to stay in there. So I have no intention of retiring. I says, at your age, you should be retiring. Enjoy yourself. I said, what am I going to do? All alone, can you enjoy yourself alone, watching TV all day? I just, you, well, you get old fast. I just, you can't do that. I mean, yeah, I'm getting old by age, but I don't want to get old by that I can't do anything anymore yeah. by sitting around doing nothing so you can't move. I just, no, I got to keep going. Now, I speak to a lot of barbers in their 30s and their 20s and they mentioned clubmen, and you know, some of them like the aftershave, some of them like the powder, or some of them even like just the smell of the barbershop. Do you have any early memories that remind you of clubmen? Hey, I've had, I used to use Pinards all the time. Mm. They like the smell, the certain things, you know, the powders and so forth and so on, and, and they liked it, and, and they used to ask for it. That's a, that's, that's, I used to have a lot of that I used to buy. It was a, a barber supply here. We used to be called Manual a, a Hair a Supply Company. He used to bring it over. He had, a, he had all that stuff he used to bring in. So I saw one of your past interviews, you named a couple of haircuts that I, I've never heard of, which is the Pixie haircut, the Buster Brown, and the Shag haircut. Oh. Those are haircuts that Remind you, you of a certain time period? Well, they took it after the Buster Brown shoes. Yep. They used to have brown, Buster Brown shoes, and they 
kids used to come in, they all wanted Buster Brown. Buster Brown haircut, it was just straight across. That's okay. all it was. Okay. And whether it was girls or boys, they all got the same thing. Even boys got that. I used to give a lot of Buster Brown haircuts. Yeah. <laughs> so you say that's your favorite yeah. haircut? They used the to come Brown. in. They used to get, I got my Buster Brown shoes. Give me a Buster Brown haircut. Nice. <laughs> Around what time, what year? Oh, that was years ago. That could have been, uh, I say, that was when I was in the, in the 20s. I cut. I think the 1940s. It. Yeah. Who gives you your haircuts? I cut my own hair. Interesting. I've been cutting my own hair. And well, every once in a while I get, I miss a couple back here. I, I get one of the girls cut it back there. But I, I always cut my own. I've been cutting my own hair right along. I gave my last haircut. I gave it. Okay. So. <laughs> nice. When I started cutting hair, you know, the first haircut that I did was a military style haircut. Oh. Know? So real short, faded on the sides. Is there any type of haircuts that remind you of a certain period in time? Yeah, the first haircut I gave him, I wanted, I gifted my father. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I gave him a haircut and a shave too. What kind of haircut did you give your dad? Yeah, he used to have these mustaches. Turn them up or curl them. Yeah. That's what he had, he had mustache. And I, I get through and trim it all and I used to curl up as much as he, mm -hmm. he looked good and he liked it. <coughs> so nice. he was glad I became a barber because he didn't have to worry about getting a haircut anymore. <laughs> nice, so you was so, a barber. That's it. I've been cutting hair for about 20 years and I have clients that stuck with me from the beginning up until now. Yeah. Do you have clients that have been with you for like years, a long time? Oh yes, yeah. I've been here. Yeah. Still, some of them still coming, and I'm I'm getting their children coming in and getting a haircut, and there's children's children coming in now. There's three generations coming in and getting still getting a haircut from me. All some of them. Okay. Do you have any advice for any barber that's starting out with their brand new barber shop, or any barber shop owners that want to continue with that longevity in a barber shop? Well, I just tell them, if you like the barber business, you do the best you can, take care of them, you'll have a good business, and so forth and so on, and you can keep on going, just like myself, I'm here so many years, if you want to stay that long, I kept going, and that's it. What made me go, and kept going, as I said before, now, uh, my wife passed away, if she didn't pass away, I probably would have, Maybe giving it up by now, and, and we enjoyed the rest of our lives, but she passed away, so I have nothing else to do but stay home, do nothing, so I'm still in the business. I'm going to still be in the business, and that's it. So it's safe to say no plans for retirement? No, I have no, no problem. Usually barbers don't live this long in the first place, and a lot of them, if they did live, the song, they're not barbers anymore. They, they stopped the barber business. Mm -hmm. They're not living. Nobody's ever lived this long, as long as I have mm -hmm. so far, still barbering. Yeah. I haven't heard of anybody. Me neither. Nowhere. No way.